，宇宙旅行再也不是遥不可及的梦想。维珍航空研发出新一代商用太空船“团结号”，即将载大家飞向宇宙浩瀚无垠。发表会上，在维珍集团执行长查理德·布兰森的孙女用奶瓶打了太空船一下之后，他正式向大家宣布，私人宇宙旅游的时代来临了。然而，在研发这个太空船时，也是付出了重大且惨痛的代价。二零一四年，维珍的太空船在试飞时，因为人为疏失，导致飞行员一死一重伤。引发国际社会关注。对于这件事情，查理德·布兰森也做出了回应，表示在没有做到百分之百的安全之前，是不会让太空船载人的。Well, we've had a lot to prove. Um, we've been at this project for ten years. Um, the um, what happened fifteen months ago? Uh, you know, literally, we were all in all in tears here. You know, the safety experts, you know, can turn to tell me when when they feel it's a hundred percent safe for us to us to fly and then for people to fly. And um, and I will try to resist the urge to say I want to go to space <laughs> now. <laughs> you know, just, why don't we just go outside and do it? Um, but. Um, Um, but I think、um, you know we've waited ten years. We can we, we're happy to wait a bit longer. Except in this time of announcement, the author of the "Twin Jet" name is the famous physics scientist Stephen Hawking. He did not attend, but he gave a speech at this event, expressing his support. Space travel is indeed possible, but the price must be 25 million dollars, which is about 800 million yuan. 目前已经有七百多个人报名参加，等待一趟高空十万公尺鸟瞰地球的体验。